Asking people to get together as families. It's a life-changing experience. A group of humanitarian workers recreates a poor community. Company executives are invited to spend a couple of hours having to make the tough choices imposed by poverty. I'm here in a simulated slum. This is my family. As you can probably hear, it is incredibly stressful. We're trying to make bags. We're at the end of the first week, which is represented by 10 minutes. And I don't think we've even got enough bags to pay the rent. So I'm going to ask her now to go and sell them. Would you take these? You get down. Let me see your bag. This is it. This is it. Give me your ring. Your ring. Give it to me. Let's go. And when you can't make ends meet, the sacrifices start to mount up. You have a 15 year old daughter. You bring her to me. I know somebody in the factory, man. Desperation spirals very quickly. You find yourself making decisions that no one should have to face. We give her a job, all your troubles will be over. The organizers say there is a profound and lasting impact on executives who take part. In the debrief, because they've lived it for even so short a time as this, when we can only give them a taste in an hour or two of what millions, billions live in a lifetime. But having lived it, then they say, well, I care now. I want to do something about it. And that's when we can talk to them about engagement. We're now at the end of a three-week simulation, and I don't think my family is going to survive. This is a very effective way of stimulating empathy and encouraging companies to think what they can do in the fight against poverty. Tony Beckett, BBC News, Davos.